Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So today I really want to show you some more luxury uh, stuff that I've been purchasing for the year of 2021 and I'm so excited because I do have a lot of content coming for you guys so uh, just keep watching me uh, just stay tuned because I do have a lot of new ideas that I want to share with you guys so if you guys are interested let's keep watching so guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel I will really really appreciate it don't forget to follow me on my social media accounts um, and I will link it down below so you guys can check it out so without further ado let's do it so I have been doing a lot of damage for the month of March I would say and February I do have a lot of stuff that I want to show you um, and these two pieces are actually something that um, I bought and I also already had on I tried them on a lot so I can also give you a review and not just like an unboxing because it's not a real true unboxing because I already am wearing this stuff so much lately so the first item uh, it's a jewelry piece and it's from one of my favorite brands right now and it's actually Dior. The box that I have with me, it's an old box from the Dior collection. It came in a, in a new Dior box but I purchased it in Italy, in Milan. And when I was there visiting my mom, I didn't pick the box with me. I didn't took it with me because of space, because I didn't have enough space in the luggage. So I'm just gonna show you. This is Dior and this is the old packaging. It's where my mom brought, I think last year at my birthday, she gave me like a Dior choker or bracelet. And, and it's this box right here. So, but I do have the dust bag of the jewelry that I bought. So this is the uh, the dust bag and this item is so trendy right now like a lot of people uh, wear it and it was also sold out for the longest time and it was really a very difficult piece to find. Um, I first uh, contacted my sales associate in Zurich um, and she told me that it was sold out everywhere and I had to wait for it and I think like a month, like a two weeks later she texted me that it was back in stock and it just have one piece and but I already bought mine in Milan online and and I think after like an hour it was already sold out in Zurich so these items is very very trendy right now and everyone was wanna wanna get their hands on it so I'm so happy I got it what I did I I stalked literally stalked the Dior website to find it and the Ital Italian one of course and as soon as it was back in stock, I just bought it. Like I didn't even think about it. So this one is the beautiful dust bag. Exactly. And look how beautiful. I think if you know me and if you follow me on my Instagram account, you probably already saw it. This is the choker, the Dior choker. The classic one in the gold. It comes also a ring version and a bracelet version. Do you guys see how beautiful that is? Um, the jewelry piece is so heavy. Um, it's so good made. The quality is amazing. And it's amazing how good it sparkle as well when you have it on. I will wear it right now so you guys can see how beautiful it is. Uh, but it's all the way like a chain. It's a very classic piece and it's also a very trendy piece right now like everyone is wearing it i do love the combination of um the ring i think the ring is really beautiful i'm not so much into the bracelet i'm not a bracelet person if i have my bracelet it's just the hermes click clack or the collier de chaine i just botched that but cdc uh, chain uh, cdc bracelet um but other than that i'm not a bracelet person i don't really love bracelets but this choker was like the first the, as soon as i saw it was like i want it in my life i do love yellow gold so this is right on my alley and i think the ring is really beautiful i was seeing a girl i think her name is je suis louis yeah i think je suis louis she was um wearing the ring she bought the choker and the ring and i think the ring had really bad quality i think the the color just went away after wearing it um, and 
usually use it every day i mean i will do the same if i have a ring i want to use it every day and i don't want to be bothered if it's gonna um you know changing colors and stuff i mean it's crazy um but of course the, the the choker you don't wear every day so the quality is certainly better than the ring because the ring you're doing everything with it with disinfections uh with hand sanitizer and also with water i mean it gets pretty fast um uh, discolored so this one is a choker you can actually do it longer if you don't if you want but also tighter on the neck on the on the neck if you want on the throat uh, let me show you how beautiful it is I will do a shot so you guys can check it out I mean this is so beautiful it sits so good around the neck and the decollete I think it's so beautiful and look at the lighting it gets I mean, I just love it. Um, I feel like it adds a lot of edge to a look. I mean, I have a plain, like a really plain black bodysuit from Zara, like also a, a blazer also from Zara, like a very a light one from spring. I bought it last year. And I think they have like certainly one similar you can also find now in Zara with the shoulder pads and look how much it does for the look i mean it's it's crazy and earrings i still have the same anna luisa earrings i just love these so much and look how how your look is evolving or getting better just because of a choker it's incredible and i just love this look so much i'm a huge fan of dior right now uh, ready to wear pieces bags oh my god i'm so into their bags and their shoes i just want everything um and accessories of course so i have to be honest this couple of two years three years or oh, i think three years now dior has been killing it like literally killing it every season is just so trendy and so um different from anything else i've seen before like i'm so impressed with um how they're taking their brand to it's incredible so look how beautiful that is so this is the first piece the dior choker and i think when i was in italy i think now the price has increased but i think before it costed 450 euros i will link down below how much it costs right now in euros if you guys are interesting okay but i just love it i hope it's still in stock right now um because it was like a, a like a back back in the back in a couple months ago it was impossible to find now it's always coming back in stock so i will suggest just talk just talk the uh dior website and you will be able to find it so the next piece that i have here for you guys is actually something in my wish list if you guys saw my wish list of 2020 so i haven't done an update on my wish list of 2021 maybe i, sh I should do that if you guys are interested just let me know write it down below and i will show you because i do have a lot of items in my wish list of 2021 and in 2020 i did a wish list i will link it also down below so you guys can check it out and this was an item that i wanted and then i tried it on when i was in munich that was in February last year and and I didn't like them like I tried them on and it was not my thing I was not into them at all and and now I'm still thinking about them three years like I've been thinking about this item for three years right now and I was like you know what Jennifer just buy them just buy them because it makes no sense if you're still thinking about them for so many years uh, and it's I thought it was a trendy piece it's apparently not because they are just evolving all the time uh, bringing new uh, new colors um, new stuff and I was like oh, maybe I should give it a try and I love them so it's something from Balenciaga um, as Dior and Balenciaga I have in Prada as well they have been killing it lately. I mean, I'm, I'm a Chanel person. I love Chanel, but Balenciaga is like right now is killing it. Every item they have, I love it. Like it's so crazy how good they have become. And this piece, I think you already know what it is. It's a pair of shoes. And if you're following me for a long time, you already know what it is. As you guys, I told you, it comes with different colors, different combination of colors. Let me just take away the dust bag. 
so it comes with one dust bag this i don't really understand why they just bring one dust bag but it's okay and then i have some shoelaces you guys guess what it is These are the triple S that everyone was talking about since years now. And do you guys know which combination I took? Because there are different ones. Are you guys ready? Here they are. This one are the Balenciaga triple S in the color clear. So this one is like the new version of the Balenciaga triple S. They came out with this clear version, also a nude version. They also have a neon pink, neon yellow, neon green, and uh, I just love them. Now they are also be coming out with like a sort of matte color, like matte gray, uh, matte like lilac and baby blue. Crazy good. But I wanted this particular color. I was debating between the clear one version and the nude version. The nude version is also good, but I thought the nude version looked a little bit too yellow on me. So I thought the clear one is the better um, version. I just love this one so much. Look, and I'm just gonna show you, I'll show you the second one as well. And then after I'm gonna show you just one of them. Let me just take down the box. So here are the shoes. Look at them. And I'm just gonna show you one shoe. So I bought this on My Theresa. Um, My Theresa is like a German website, and I usually buy all my stuff there. Uh, they have like express shipping, like you buy one day, two days after it's already at your house. Um, so it just works pretty amazing for me uh, and because we're living in Switzerland, Germany and Switzerland is so close so it's just working perfect and I love I love everything they have. They have so much in stock and when you miss an item you can just ask them and they take it back in stock as soon as possible. So they're very friendly, easy to work with. Uh, they have so much, uh, so many different designers and um, so many new styles um, also when I have the feeling that some items it's impossible to find they're always sold out in my Theresa usually they have it in stock and so I'm really impressed with how they're working there um, and when I saw this I saw they had them in every size available and I think they still have them in every size available so I was so happy and I was debating which size to buy so um, the saw it's kind of dirty because I have been using them so much. Look at this. I'm so sorry to show you this. I'm gonna wash my hands afterwards, of course. Um, it says Balenciaga on it. I hope the camera can pick it out. I'm so sorry. Look, this one is the clear version. So, uh, in terms of how trendy they are, or is it a classic piece? I feel like the Balenciaga Triple S are now a staple as an ugly sneaker or ugly shoe. Uh, it's a staple in like a fashion wardrobe um, and they're here to stay. I feel like they're here to stay. They're, of course, they're not a classic, I'm not saying that, but they're here to stay a little bit longer than I thought. In terms of sizing, this one is a very difficult one um, because I think it's very different from a person to a person. I would suggest if you have the possibility, go and try it on in the boutique and not buying online. Um, when I was in Munich, I tried them on. I'm usually a 39 and I do have a wider foot. You guys already know this. And in every shoe, I do have 39. But I was watching a lot of reviews on YouTube and everyone was saying size down and other were saying take your true to size. So it was very difficult. When I was into the boutique, I tried on the 39 and it was okay for me. 38, so a size down, was perfect. I could have got the 39, but because the shoe is so big as already it is, I wanted to, to size down. Um, 
in terms of comfort, and that comes with the sizing, in terms of comfort, I have to say these are so comfortable. Maybe they could be even more comfortable if I would have taken my true to size. Uh, but for me, 38 was okay. And they, they are extremely comfortable. When it comes to the weight, if they are very, very heavy or not, they are heavy, but not extremely heavy. Maybe because I am more curvy and I'm not that skinny, um, I don't feel like the shoes are so heavy. Maybe if you're skinnier than me, maybe you will feel that they are, um, they are heavier. Uh, can certainly be like, be like this. But I do feel like they are not as heavy as everyone are saying. They are okay. Uh, of course, it's not a Converse shoe, so they're not really easy, but um, I don't feel like they're difficult to walk in at all. I feel like they're very comfortable. And in terms of sizing, I will always suggest try in the boutique. And if you have like a smaller foot, a thinner foot, um, I will suggest size down. If you have a wider foot, I will say stay true to size, to be honest. Um, I love this shoe so much. I mean, I feel like it's so classic, it's so beautiful. It goes with everything. Uh, it goes a lot with, I do have a lot of spring dresses with flowers or summer dresses with flowers that you can actually wear with them. Uh, so it elevates your look, but it takes it also to a level of, ca to be a little bit more casual. Um, it looks really good with yoga pants on. I do love yoga pants. I wear them every single day. So wearing black yoga pants and these shoes, it looks so beautiful. It makes your, you makes your leg thinner and longer. So I feel like the Triple S really do a lot of, um, it really um, enhance um, your legs. It's also not that warm, so you can actually use it in winter and summer, I think. And I mean, it's just a perfect look. I just love it so, so much. So I can't recommend them, recommend them enough. I would suggest try them in the boutique because they are worth the hype. So guys, that was it for my YouTube video. If you guys like it, click a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will really, really appreciate it. If you have any questions, just write me down below and I will answer you as soon as I see it. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Okay, bye. Mwah.